Hello everyone, as you know, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I am the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and today I will be talking about Kratky Hydroponics and especially about how to create a custom solution for Kratky Hydroponics using an ABC configuration that you can use to grow larger Kratky plants. So why do we need a custom formulation to grow plants in a Kratky setup? You absolutely do not need it, but you can have much better results if you use the configuration that I'm gonna show you here because it addresses a very important part of the Kratky experience when growing larger plants. And it is that we expect an important accumulation of some nutrients in the solution since the solution is never getting changed. For example, things like calcium and micronutrients will accumulate very heavily in a Kratky setup that you just add nutrient solution to as a function of time. If you just added nutrients on top of nutrients on top of nutrients, then you will end up, your calcium concentration will increase and increase and increase and increase, and you will start getting into problems with pH control, problem with nutrient deficiencies of other nutrients because of the antagonisms that take place when you let the concentration of something like calcium get completely out of hand. The nutrient solution that I'm gonna talk about has three components. We have an A solution, a B solution, and a C solution. These are concentrated stock solutions that we will add at different times so that we can form the final nutrient solution. So you will see the values of the, the final PPM targets that we have here for the initial solution. So these are the targets that we will be hitting when we first prepare the nutrients using this A, B, and C configuration. You can also see the description for the actual values of salts that you need to weigh to arrive to these A, B, and C solutions. And you can also watch previous videos on how these solutions are prepared so you, that you can prepare them yourselves. So let me talk about the makeup of this nutrient solution. This nutrient solution is made using three different stock solutions. We have an A solution that contains only calcium nitrate, a B solution that contains potassium nitrate and monopotassium phosphate, and a C solution that contains all the micronutrients and magnesium sulfate. So the idea of this solution is that when you first prepare your Kratky setup, you fill it up with all these three different solutions. So you prepare your initial nutrients to achieve the targets that I show you right here using these three A, B, and C solutions. And this gives us our initial solution hitting those targets. Then as the level drops, we will use different, a different configuration of these solutions to replace nutrients so that we do not add an excess of the nutrients that accumulate with time. So how do we actually do the replenishment process? When your solution starts lowering, 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 and you need to replenish solution for larger plants, of course, for smaller plants, this is not needed, but for larger plants, what we will do is that we will replenish the solution by preparing the nutrients only with the B solution. The B solution contributes around 20 ppm of phosphorus, around 205 of potassium, and around 65 of nitrogen. So we're only replacing MP and K, which are the nutrients that are uptaken actively and most aggressively by the plant. So these are going to be replaced and the rest are not going to be replaced because they are still accumulating. So what we will do is that we will replace with only the B solution up until the point where we've re replaced twice the volume of the initial Kratky setup using only the B solution. So let's say you start with 10, with 10 gallons, with a 10 gallon tank, and then it drops to five gallons. So you refill, you refill it to 7.5, so you did 2.5 gallon refill. You would do that refill four times, which is once the volume, and then you do it another four times, which is twice the volume, so that's eight times, using only B solution to prepare the nutrients at 10 milliliters per liter. And then after we've, we're done with that, then we will replace using the normal configuration, the normal ABC configuration, up until we replace the, volume, the entire volume of the container once. Then we change back to B until we replace twice, then back to one until we replace. So in this manner, we are going to be spending the nutrients that take more to be spent, so the nutrients that accumulate, we're gonna give them more time to be spent, while the nutrients that are actively being uptaken, we're gonna replace much faster. This solution is especially good for plants that uptake a lot of potassium, because the replacement is especially potassium rich, so the solution will 
have a lot more potassium than nitrogen added. So it is especially great for fruiting plants like tomatoes or bell peppers that are way more potassium hungry than other plants that can also grow very big. I have been growing using this particular configuration. I have been growing a basil plant that is absolutely huge that you can also see uh, in, the, in this footage. And this basil plant has been grown using this replacement technique, which has completely avoided the high accumulation of things like calcium. I have already replaced the solution of the volume of this container, which is around 10 liters, around six times because this plant has grown so big. So this shows that this sort of replacement works better than if you just dumped nutrients that contain calcium and magnesium every time. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video where I showed you how to prepare a completely DIY solution that is custom to large plants in Kratky setups where you do replenishment that takes into account the fact that some nutrients accumulate while others are uptaken fast and very aggressively by the plant. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video and bye bye.